This is a video about making a ceramic fish wind chime. Here are the technical details. You will use white stoneware clay, bisque at 980 degrees, decorate with underglaze pigments, and glaze with a clear stoneware glaze at 1280 degrees centigrade. For a wind chime of six segments, you will need to throw seven pots of varying sizes as per the next diagram. Weigh out seven balls of clay, 500 grams, 600, 750, 600, 500, 400, and 300 grams. This shows you the profiles of each of these seven pots. While you are throwing the segments, use calipers to accurately measure each pot for a good fit. The inside measurement becomes the outside measurement of the next segment. When leather hard, Join the segments 1 and 2 together to make the head. Importantly, during turning, put a small 2mm hole in each segment for the hanging wire. Now turn and finish all segments as per the next diagram. This shows how the segments will fit after turning. And the parts 1 and 2 are joined here to make the head of the fish. Now it's time to add the lips, eyes, fins and tail to the segments while still leather hard. By the way, have you made those holes for the wires? Now let's start with the lips. Roll a coil this shape about 4 centimeters long. Cut it in half like this. Now cut the headpiece, as we see here, to make the mouth and slurry on the lips, as you can see here. Cut two discs of clay about two millimetres thick for the eyes. They can be a flat or a curved profile. Cut these fins from a slab of clay five millimetres thick, round off the edges and attach them to the segments. Now for the tail. After you have thrown the tail segment, squeeze the top together like this so that it will be the correct shape to take the tail piece. Cut the shape for the tail from a 5mm thick slab of clay. Insert it with slurry into the tail segment. Now this is important. Cut a small slot in the side of the insertion for the insertion of the first hanging wire, 5 mm wide by 6 mm long. All additions, lips, eyes, fins and the tail are now completed at the leather hard stage. Now let's think about the decoration of your wind chime. In this example, the scale pattern is painted in two shades of green underglaze pigment on the bisque segment. It is then glazed in a clear stoneware glaze and fired at 1280 degrees. In this example, the white scale outlines are applied with melted beeswax. It is then sprayed with the blue background colour. This is done on the dry clay body before the bisque firing. The wax burns out in the firing and the other details in two shades of blue are applied before the clear glaze is sprayed on. In this example, the scales were made by the scraffito technique into the parts at leather hard stage. Then the fish was glazed in three different coloured glazes. I called this one the parrotfish. The scales were made by scraffito after the bisque, they were outlined in black and then coloured. A clear glaze was applied. 
or maybe you would simply prefer to glaze your fish in one colour. After you have completed the decoration, bisque, then glaze and fire all the parts. And now it's time to assemble your fish wind chime. You will need 1.6 millimetres bronze brazing rods, solder, flux and a soldering iron, end cutters and round nose pliers. Make a loop uh, in the first wire and solder the joint. Pass the wire through the slot in the side and out through the hole in the segment. Add the next segment and put the wire through its hole as shown uh, cut the wire off five millimeters from the hole. Now make a loop in that wire and then add the loop of the next wire, pass it through the hole in the next segment as shown here. You may, may need to experiment a bit, but if the loops are done correctly, it should allow the segments to hang with sufficient clearance so that they will move and chime. Continue in the same way and add all the segments till you get to the head. Now for measuring the head. Measure the distance as shown here, then cut that wire five millimeters longer than measured. Make the loops and continue as shown. And finally, add two more loops to the final hanging wire. This enables the wire to be folded back for packing. and then put a larger loop in this last wire for hanging your wind chime. Now all the wires have been done and the wind chime is ready to hang.